the story of lazy jack read and enjoy let us read a story of a lazy boy who was also foolish there was once a boy who never did any work everyone called him lazy jack dot eventually he made his mother so angry she threatened to turn him out of the house dot so lazy jack went to work for a farmer at the end of a week the farmer gave him a penny not knowing about money jack was careless and lost his penny while crossing a stream on the way home silly boy said his mother you saw old have put it carefully in your pocket il know better next time mother said lazy jack the following day he went to work for a dairyman at the end of a week the dairyman gave him a jug of milk jack put the jug carefully in his pocket but on the way home all the milk spilled out and ran down his trousers fool said his mother you saw old have balanced it on your head i'll know better next time mother said lazy jack the following day he went to work for a cheeseman at the end of a week the cheeseman gave jack a soft cream cheese he balanced the cheese on his head before he set off for home by the time he arrived there some of the cheese had fallen off some had run down his cheeks and some had got stuck in his hair dot idiot cried his mother you should have carried it in your hands i'll know better next time mother said lazy jack the following day he went to work for a baker at the end of a week the baker gave him a cat jack picked up the cat and carried it in his hands before he had gone far the cat scratched him so badly that jack let it go you great dunderhead shouted his mother you should have tied a string round it and pulled it along i'll know better next time mother said lazy jack the following day he went to work for a butcher at the end of a week the butcher gave him a fine leg of mutton jack tied a piece of string round the leg of mutton and dragged it along by the time he came home the mutton was all muddy and spoiled you fool roared his mother you should have carried it on your back i'll know better next time mother said lazy jack the following day he went to work for a herdsman at the end of a week the herdsman gave him a donkey for his labors with great difficulty jack hoisted the donkey onto his back as he was staggering home a splendid carriage passed him on the road the carriage belonged to a rich man's daughter who had been deaf and dumb since birth doctors had said she would never be able to speak unless she learned how to laugh when the rich man's daughter saw jack walking with the donkey on his back she burst into laughter then she began to speak the rich man was so grateful that he gave lazy jack his daughter's hand in marriage jack became so rich that he never had to do another day's work in his life it pleased everybody especially his mother the old horse dobbin the old horse dobbin out at grass turns his tail to the winds that pass stares at the white road winding down through the dwindling fields to the distant town from the distance he hears a short sharp trot sees his master a small dark dot riding away on the smart new mare that came last month from pulbar fair and dobbin remembers as horses may how often he trotted that ringing way his coat is ragged and blown away he droops his head and he knows not why something has happened something is gone the world is changing his work is done his old heart aches with heavier load he stands and wonders and stares at the road